Now, for one thing, folks will turn on the television when I'm on and they'll see me on there and they think, this old boy is putting on. They can't nobody talk like that. Folks, I can't help it. <laughs> I wouldn't talk like this if I could help it. I'm from over at Gleason, Tennessee, and Gleason's 150 miles west of Nashville. It's a real little town. Our only heavy industry is a 400-pound Avon lady. <laughs> That's the truth. And the veterinarian and the taxidermist is the same man. Yeah, he's got a sign up over the door that says, either way, you'll get your dog back. <laughs> well, we moved up here not like a lot of these country stars you hear about. Now, they move up here, a lot of them do. They're poor, broke down, come up here in a horse trailer, load up everything they have in a horse trailer and moved to Nashville. Get a record deal and hit it big. Me and Sweetie moved up here in a U-Haul truck. Four months later, we moved back to Gleason in a horse trailer. <laughs> we like to starve to death up here. <laughs> Takes time. <laughs> well, we got financially embarrassed up here so bad that I went down to the bank to try to borrow some money and I run up on the sorest human being I've ever met. He was a loan officer. And Cobb was his name. I'll never forget it. I walked in his office and his name was up on the desk. I said, Mr. Cobb, how you doing today? And he just stared at me. I said, Mr. Cobb, there be any chance you loaned me and my wife enough money to tide us over till we could get us some credit cards? <laughs> he jumped up out of his chair. He said, you're from the country, aren't you? I said, yes, sir. He said, you know what we do with Hicks in the city? I said, no, but I know what we do with cobs in the country. 